I want to give you some tips how to get in and out of your wetsuit a little easier. I know it can be kind of a chore, so take some time to practice it at home before you even go for your first swim. A lot of wetsuits will come with these white gloves. Um, they're made to protect from your nails ripping the wetsuit, and it's really important. I recommend wearing gloves all the time. If you have small hands like me, ditch the white gloves. I like these little stretchy gloves that you can get for like a dollar at Target because they hold on to your hand a little bit better. And but having them on is just gonna help make sure that you don't have any jagged nails, whether your nails are long or short. Keep those jagged nails from nicking the neoprene of the wetsuit, which is going to damage it and then keep you less dry and less warm. So when you get your wetsuit ready, turn it inside out. Now, even the wetsuit companies don't show it to you this way, but it is a life changer, all right? So put it inside out and you're gonna have the zipper down so that the flat part of the wetsuit is facing you. And when you start with your feet, you're just gonna flip a little bit of the wetsuit inside. So that way, the inside of the wetsuit is going right against your ankle. And that's gonna come right up your ankle and you're gonna pull here, and you can see with the gloves, you're not worried about nicking it. Pull just enough until you can put your foot out on the other side, okay? Once you have one foot through, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the other foot. So flip a little bit underneath, get that right in your ankle, and then pull that through little by little. And then you'll see, because it's inside out, it's just gonna kind of roll up your leg. It's so much easier to get on than wriggling your way in the other way. So we're gonna roll it up. It's a wetsuit, it's supposed to be tight. You can hear I'm even getting a little out of breath because it takes a little effort, totally normal. So you're just gonna keep pulling it up till it gets all the way to your legs, okay? And you'll use your body a little bit. You're gonna pull it, you can do some squats, that helps. Pull it up over your hips. And then when you've got it most of the way on, then you can go and get some of these creases out. You want the wetsuit to lay close against your body with the least amount of creases to get the optimal buoyancy and streamlined position. A little squat, get it really right and tight up into your crotch. Once it's halfway up your body, you're gonna do the exact same thing for the top. So you're gonna fold in a little bit. Now this particular one has really tight wrists, which is great. So you just have to take a little bit of effort, get your hand in there. And once again, you're going to find your hand all the way through and just roll that wetsuit right up your sleeve, right up your arm. And again, you wanna pull it up, the arm, it's really important to get it all the way up into your shoulder. It's gonna give you the best mobility and it's gonna help the wetsuit last longer so you're not pulling and ruining it through the armpit of the wetsuit. Same thing with the other side. Get the hand in there, flip over a little bit. Put your hand in. Still keeping those gloves on so you're not damaging the neoprene. Okay, and we're gonna pull that up way into your armpit once again. Okay, now, looks pretty good. Here's a little tip. Bend over and you're gonna pull any extra that you can all the way up to your chest and way up to your neck. That's gonna give you a little extra mobility here in your neck. And then it's got the handy rip cord. You can zip it up yourself or ask a friend. And then you're going to keep your cord right here and make sure you have a little bit sticking out so that way you can get out of it when you get out of the water. <laughs>